Hey guys, this is Sean with PickAndStick.com. When you pick it and you stick it, we're going to show you what's coming in your package and how to get started. First, you're going to get your two package and everything's going to be inside of it. So you're going to get your wrap rolled up here. You're going to get a squeegee and a cutting knife with it. And everything is marked. So you'll see as I wrap it, everything has its own marking. And then what you want to do is first thing is to remove this little tab for your front door and put it off to the side. But you won't need that till the very end because we want to line it up. So we're going to unroll that one and we're going to go put this away so it doesn't get beat up. The next piece is going to be your left or port side and this is your top. So when you start your job and you want to start lining everything up, you know that this is the left and it's the top so it's going to start like this and we're going to get our blue painter's tape and we're going to walk down the side of this boat and about every two to three feet I'm going to rip off a piece of tape and I'm going to stick it up to the side and then when I go to unroll this vinyl I can just hook it down to the top rail here and it can just hang all the way down the side all the way around the back so if you're doing this by yourself it's much easier to do when you have a couple of people but if you're doing it by yourself how you're going to start off you know that this is the left or port side this is the top and as i pull the label off you'll notice that this is the very front of the boat right here and you don't want to run this edge to this edge you want to run it to this edge because i always make the wrap a little larger and it gets trimmed back to fit and then you're going to trim it in this edge right here so as you're going to set this up here you want to set it up in the middle and just over top of that. And you can take your tape and put the top. And as you're walking around the side, you've already got your tape set up all the way down the side of the boat. So now I'm going to. Now all we're doing is holding it up here for right now. We'll straighten it out in just a minute. But now I can just unroll this by myself next one on. The blue painter's tape will hold everything into place as I go around the boat. Now you can see that I've got it all lined up down the side of the boat and I've got it as level as possible just by hanging there. If you don't want to attempt the whole thing at one time, you can do these in sections. So I taped, there's a door right here, so I taped this aluminum strip here and the door, same thing here and the door, so I can cut straight down where this door gap is. I can cut straight down on this. So I can do this door panel separate. Then I can do this piece separate. And I'll show you how to do each piece separate. Okay, guys. If you want to do everything separate, you don't want to cut on this aluminum. If you have a pair of scissors, you want to line up and keep it exactly in the middle between these two because you're going to go over this aluminum and you're going to trim it away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, you can see where this gap is. I'm going to use that gap, and I'm going to use a pair of scissors, and I'm going to cut straight up. And then I'm going to come to this back piece. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to look underneath, see where that center section is. If You can also use your blade to do that. You just don't want to cut straight onto the aluminum because you can get a scoring mark on it. If you don't mind, you can just use your blade and cut right there. So now that we have cut this panel out, we're going to do this one panel. You can start from the front, start from the rear, whatever the way you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and set this center panel here, and you can see when, and we'll do the edge work here, and then we're going to repeat the pattern around the front, and then we're going to work our way to the back. So what I do is I come up and I grab this top corner of the back and the tape's holding it up there and it's keeping it exactly where we had it placed in the first time. So I'm just pulling the backing off, making sure all the tape and everything stays in place. Now watch that trash right there. You will slip and hurt yourself so make sure you throw it away. All I want to do is I want to lay it down as flat 
as possible, touch the edges. Once these two bottom are touched right here, I can do the same thing, but we have a handle right here. See this handle right here? We're going to cut around this handle right here, so it'll pop up just a little bit. So we're going to start in the center, and we're going to work our way out. And we, this, I'll give you one of these squeegees in, in your pack. So you want to go back and forth, and you'll see you'll go over the aluminum rail. Then I like to work down, making sure you don't have any air bubbles. And you're, you, you can take smaller bites of your squeegee. You really only want to use about half of your squeegee at any time. If you're going to go this way, back and forth, or even if you're going down like this, I'm overlapping every time so I get all the air out. And I'm just going over this railing. Same thing, I can start in the center. I'm working my way out to the edge. Now that I've pushed all the air out of this area where the squeegee, uh, where the panel is, the little panel is, I'm going to lift what I'm trying to do is I want to lift it up off of the railing just about an eighth of an inch or so. Then I'm going to use the hard part of your squeegee and that's going to tuck it up in that corner all the way across. Now that it's tucked up there, take your blade and you drop your blade right into that crease and let your blade ride right in that crease. I just use the squeegee here as a guide, and my blade just following that crease all the way over. I'm going to come back over here and go the other direction. Now, this is your finished edge. Now you just take your squeegee, run it across there, make sure the edge is down. And then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom, and then we'll do the sides. So I'm going to pull this up just past the frame, just so it's like an eighth of an inch past the frame. I'm going to use the hard side, and I'm going to tuck it down in that crease. Make sure everything's down all the way to the edge, and then use the hard edge. Now you can see the hard line right here. Now I can use my blade, I can drop my blade right into that hard line. And go nice and slow, go straight. Cut this edge. And I'm going to cut the other edge. Now we're going to do both sides. Back just a little bit, use the hard edge, make your crease in there, drop your blade into that sweet, that little crease, pull it off, take your edge of your squeegee, go back over it, same thing again here, even though it has a handle there, just work around it. Now I'm going to turn it over, pull it back just a little bit, I'm going to tuck it into this edge here. Now I'm going to use my blade and drop it in there. Remove that piece. Go over that edge. That's a finished piece. That's all you have to do. It's done. Now we can move to the next piece. Alright, we got the side panel mounted. We know this is lined up because we didn't move this tape right here. So we're going to do this section around to the front door. I'm going to work from my right to my left. That's just the way I like to run. You can go either direction. So we're going to get up underneath here and get this back and off. You need a grip, so make sure you grab the whole piece. I want to run it at a 
I like to try to pull it at like a 45 degree angle. Down. And I'm going to pull it. About there. And then we'll come back and get this section as we go around to the front. So what I want to do, I'm going to grab it and make it as level as possible. If it sticks to it, just pop it loose. This is almost like glass, I'm just getting flat as I can. I'm going to push on the rail here, rail here. I'm going to make sure that this is loose. I'm going to pull it over the rail, right here. Pull it. Pull it over the rail here. So I got this almost like glass, that's what we call it, glass. Now we're going to start in the center and come up to this point and then we'll work this piece around to the front. I'll show you that in a minute. So now that we have that, I'm just taking small bites and running it, running all the air out. Now you can see this has some corrugation to it, so I'm running this way to push all the air out. Come back and I'm going to run it up. I'm just taking small bites. Now at this point, I can come back, grab the end, pull this back up just off of this rail, and squeeze it up to the rail, pull it up a little bit and I'm going to use the hard end and I'm going to tuck it all the way in that rail and you take your blade and you drop it into that crease that you just made. You keep your blade short so it doesn't walk on you. And you can drop it in there. Now you can tuck top and bottom of this too. Worried about the blade walking down the side when you're going up in this crease. You could drop your squeegee in that crease, drop your blade in right behind it, and then walk it right down the side. And this will stay in the crease, and your blade will stay right up in the point. There. I don't want to keep this on here because it'll make you'll have issues with it later on when you're working. So don't cut to the very edge, leave you a little bit of gap there. And remove this and get it out of your way. Now you can come back and the same thing at the bottom. So you don't have to try to work the whole boat at once. You just work in small sections and you just keep going down the side of the boat.
same thing. I can just drop my blade in there if you feel comfortable doing that. Short blade so it doesn't walk. And just drop it in that crease. Just let it ride right down the side of the boat. If you don't feel comfortable, put your squeegee there to force it down into the little channel that you made there. Once you start removing this, watch where you start stop cutting there. You don't want to pull. Leave yourself a little bit of gap there. Remove this. Now, take your point, go over that edge again, make sure everything's tucked down. Now we move on to the next piece. So now you're coming up to the corner and you're going to go up to the front door here. So I'm going to show you how to go around this corner. And then we get to about here and we're going to work this section right here in the corner. Up and down, the edge is done. And then we'll work from here to the edge of the door. The reason we do it, this is going to be your hardest part. Um, it's not really much more difficult. You just have to make sure you lay it flat as you're going around this corner. And as you go around it, because a lot of people will tend to wander up or down as they go around the corner. Just remember that you want to keep it as flat as possible. And as you're pulling the backing paper off, you'll notice that it'll want to wrinkle a little bit. Then you just grab the bottom and the top and you just pull it straight. And you'll see me do that. Now, when, when I come around this side, I use this tape here as a guide, and I know where this sits. It sits flush with the bottom of the boat, or with the bottom of the rail. So I can actually rip this, and if I lay it back up here, I know exactly where I had it. So I'm going to pull it out just a little bit. I'm going to release this piece of tape. I'm going to grab the backing and start heading around the corner here. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing it, both sides, I'm pulling apart, I'm pulling away. So as I go around, you'll see get to this edge here. Now you can see it's straight all the way through this corner. I'm going to work the center. Down. Work up. So this has a big um, rivet right here. This is the snaps for the cover that goes on the boat. This wants to pull and deform. So if you reach underneath, just pull it loose from that rivet. You don't have to pull it up, just pull it off of the rivet so the vinyl can lay down. walking right around the side. Now you see it's flat right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Come back. All I want to do is pull the edge loose. If that falls down, it's okay. You can fix it. All I'm trying to do is pull the edge loose just so I can tuck all the way around that edge. Same thing here. I want to get up underneath of it. Lift that edge, tuck it into the rail. You just need to pull maybe an eighth of an inch, and you're going to use your the hard part of your squeegee and you're going to tuck it in that rail. We'll cut, come back and cut this in just a minute. Now I'm going around to the front side. I didn't take the backing, so it didn't stick to anything. Now I'm going to remove the back all the way. This piece here, make sure that you throw this away. Don't fall on it because it's very slick on one side and you will hurt, fall and hurt yourself. So now I'm going to grab, I'm going to pull apart and I'm going to pull away. So as I go around this corner, I'm going to block the video for just a second, but I'm pulling apart and I'm pulling it away to make this as smooth. You can see when I pull up, see how it creases? Or I go down, see how it creases? I want to be as level as possible as I go around this corner.
you see this section here is really level. This is doing this because there's a uh, one of the pop rivets uh, sitting right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to work down the center. Make sure the center's down good. Now you can come back in here and lift with your hand. All you're doing is just enough to get it off the rivet, just so it's not stuck to it. Come up. You're only taking small little bites. So now I'm going to come back, I'm going to lift this up again, release it just a little bit, so I can come back, use the hard edge, and I'm going to tuck it right into that rail, and there's my cut line, I'm going to come back, I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom and that edge, and then if there's any other questions, you can get a hold of me at, at sales at pickandstick.com, thanks.